Right now on WCNC Charlotte, a woman's life taken in the Queen City and still no explanation why. Tonight we're learning more about the 29 year old behind this picture, artist and Hurricane Ida evacuee Gabrielle Allnut. Police say she's just one of the victims in a string of violent crimes carried up by this man, Malik Moore. And today authorities captured Moore after a days long manhunt. They've connected him to three crimes in just four days. A murder in Greensboro, an assault in our area, and as we said, the murder of Gabrielle Allnut. Tonight, our Hunter Sign sat down with the person who gave Gabrielle a chance to continue her passion. He joins us now with that story tonight. It's hard. Adrian Dellinger didn't have to know Gabrielle Allnut long came here about a little over a week ago to know the kind of person she was. Her personality was just so wonderful. She was so full of love and light and energy. The ceramic artist evacuated from New Orleans to Charlotte, escaping Hurricane Ida and started volunteering at Dellinger's nonprofit Clayworks. We had a common bond that we both love to share our love of clay with community. Through these doors, you can leave all your troubles behind. Allnut did that teaching and creating art on a wheel, spreading her passion with others. She was creative, she was loving, she was positive. She was just a really wonderful person and I wish I'd gotten to spend more time with her. A beautiful spirit with dreams of spreading what she learned from here with those back in Louisiana. And I had told her, don't worry about trying to do that right now, we're gonna be friends for life. A dream and a life cut short by a shocking murder but a legacy living on in those she taught. In Charlotte, Hunter Signs, WCNC Charlotte.